soon. Joining us now, Commander of U.S. Northern Command, General Terrence O'Shaughnessy. He is leading the war against COVID-19 for the Department of Defense and directing the Pentagon's operations in support of FEMA. General, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, on many levels, this is a national security issue. Tell us what y your teams have been able to do, what the DOD has been able to do to shore up this country in the fight against the virus. Yeah, thank you, Mika. Right now, we have over 16,000 airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines all over this great nation that are providing support right where they need it, on the, on the front lines with our health care workers. And whether it's New York City or some of the other uh, states that we're in, we're there to provide what, what do the state and local officials need. Uh, we're there to provide them the assistance and the relief valve in some cases. Uh, but this is a war. This is a campaign that we're on. Uh, we're, we are across the nation right now providing that assistance. Willie. General Willie Geis, good to have you on with us this morning. There are sites in New York City, for example, that most New Yorkers have never seen before. Floating hospitals sailing into New York Harbor past the Statue of Liberty, field hospitals in Central Park, the Javits Center turned into a field hospital as well. You've described this as a war. You just mentioned that again. So from your point of view, how is the war going? Yeah, thanks, Willie. I, I think the war is going extremely well, and, and, and I really have to take my hat off to the frontline workers. It's the healthcare workers that are in these hospitals uh, day in and day out, working their way through this, providing the care and assistance that our nation needs. And that's where we're focused our attention right now. You mentioned the comfort and the, and the Javits Center as some very uh, key areas that we're providing that assistance. But what we also found was because of the great uh, support from the citizens that we've been able to mitigate, flatten the curve, uh, we're actually finding that the hospitals have have the capacity, uh, but as one of your earlier guests mentioned, it's the staffing of the hospitals right now that's the biggest problem. And so we're, we're not only manning the comfort, manning the Javits centers, but across the nation, we're also pushing our doctors and nurses and med techs forward into the hospitals. In, in New York City alone, uh, we're in 10 different hospitals there with over 500 doctors and nurses uh, in, in Queens and Bronx and Brooklyn and Manhattan. Uh, providing that assistance that they need right now. And I'll give an example in New, New, Newark. Uh, our team went into a hospital in Newark. They have 664 staff members there. Over 200 of them had called in sick that day. And so we're providing that, that assistance mm -hmm. that is needed on the front lines for those healthcare workers. 